Hey everyone in English 2323, it's Dr. E and I'm here with your week 12 instructional video. Woo, week 12. So let's get down to it. In the content area, I first want to offer a reminder that there is a module that's dedicated to student success. So if you want to take a look and take some time just to browse through this information, it might be helpful to, to take some time to do that. And then don't forget that there are all these other informational modules on the left hand side. If we go to week 12, you'll see our schedule is posted here. This week, you'll read the biography of and the short story by Kazuo Ishiguro, um, and that short story is A Village After Dark. So it can be found in the electronic uh, book um, area. Just look at the table of contents, and the same is true for the print version. Go ahead and look in the table of contents. So you're watching that weekly instructional video and hopefully you've taken some time to watch that multimedia uh, project video right here. It is from a previous semester, but the same ideas hold true. Um, it's a fun way to end the semester. Um, and so what you'll do this week and thinking about that is complete the multimedia project plan. And I'm really trying to highlight the idea that this is a plan. The project is not due this week. So if you are um, kind of concentrating on other things and listening to this in the background. Listen now. The plan is due this week, not the actual project. And then you'll have your participation quiz and a mind map. I'm not sure why the mind map is not up here, but I will go back and correct that. So you do have a mind map that's due on Thursday, and that's uh, related to Ishiguro's uh, short story. And then your multimedia project plan is due on Sunday and your participation quiz. I'm going to talk about the due dates in just a second. So the project video is right here. And then if you want to review the guidelines for the project, there is a version of it right here for you. So if you go to the week 12 mind map, before I get there, I want you to note that it is due on November 19th, right? So if you go up here, we have November. <laughs> Yeah, I thought that might be an issue, so let me pause it and adjust it. Okay, sorry about that. I was trying to make sure that I'm offering a bit of leniency with the due dates because it's just, you know, why not? We're at that point in the semester. So the week 12 mind map, the original due date is the 16th, but you will actually have until the grace period on Tuesday to complete it. Don't get used to this. I just want to offer this because we have, you know, two things that are due this week. I want you to have plenty of time to complete those in addition to the quiz. All right, so if you click on the week 12 mind map assignment area, this looks very familiar. Um, we've been doing this for other stories, so you're going to focus on Ishiguro's short story and complete the mind map. Um, so there are links to templates and then the guidelines, or if you wanna use Canva or mind map, that's great. Um, but I also offered Google Doc options because I have heard some feedback from students and um, it's some of you are perhaps dual credit students and you're working with devices that um, will not allow you to download the full, full version of Microsoft Word. Um, so you're working with Google Docs, which is not the same thing. But if you click on this, and I'm not sure why it's not blue highlighted, but just bear with me. If you click on this, it will take you to uh, the Google Docs area. You wanna make a copy so that you're not completing uh, the template as your own. So if you make a copy of it, Stand by. So it's here. Remember, we only need four areas um, emanating out from the center, um, but some of you like to do things, you know, a little bit differently. You certainly don't need all of that information. Uh, but if you go back and click on the second, oops, my bad. Ooh, the second <laughs> option in Google Docs, um, then it will open the um, a little bit more straightforward one. And remember, you can expand the size of these things so that you can fit in your text, you can move uh, information around. Um, so just make sure that you're playing around with this as needed. And when you go to submit, you just click file and you don't want to share, right? You actually want to download and download in Microsoft Word format or PDF and then upload it to D2L. Okay, so just some options. I hope that's not overwhelming, but if it is, just let me know. I don't want it to be overwhelming. All right, so if we go back to the week 12 module, if you scroll down, there is the multimedia project plan. And this is where I'm just kind of reiterating some of the ideas that are from the video and the assignment guidelines, just because these are things that can throw students off. And I don't, um, 
I don't want that to be the case. So I really want you to make sure that you're reading this when you have some time and uh, focusing. So you can review the video here and review the guidelines here. And then if you would like to complete the full version in Word, you can click the multimedia project plan and it essentially just looks like this. Okay. Or you can go again to Google Docs and complete it there by making a copy and filling in the information about your project. Now, what I want to emphasize to you is that this is what it sounds like. It is a plan for your project uh, because in semesters past, sometimes we, I, I didn't have a plan due. And so sometimes we would get to the point where the whole project was due and students uh, might submit a project that really doesn't meet the guidelines. It's a really big grade, so I don't want it to get to that final stage and have anybody lose points over that because uh, the guidelines weren't necessarily adhered to in a way that that needed to be. So what this does is allow you to just kind of map out some ideas and then get my feedback so I can say, yeah, you're going in a great direction or, hey, have you thought about this? That kind of thing. So what text, author, et cetera, from the course inspired your project and why? Um, remember for Lit, you can choose a theme if you want to that we've covered the entire semester. You can integrate discussions of uh, historical context as well as you know picking a particular author or idea. So this is where you would say, you know, who and why or what and why. Okay, uh, your answers for this question and the one below are actually going to become the basis for your first paragraph of the three that are required. So I want you to think carefully because this is essentially getting out some of those ideas that you will um, need later on. So your response to this is going to be to describe your project format. So. What I want you to imagine is that our multimedia projects are going to be uploaded uh, or posted in the discussion area. The first thing your colleagues will see when they open your discussion is your, your three paragraphs. So I want you to pr first provide them with some context before they then click the link to your video or the link to download your PowerPoint or whatever the case may be. So the first thing you want to do is tell them what they're going to see, right? So are, you know, I chose to do a video related to Ishiguro's work because, or I chose to do an informational PowerPoint uh, related to James Joyce because, that kind of thing. Um, and then why, right? How will you show effort? So remember that part of this is really detailing the steps that it took to complete the project. Um, there are a few exceptions to this. The first would be a video. A video is actually just showing effort you know as it is because you need to take the time to actually film it and piece it together to edit all of that so the effort is there um, and then if you're putting together a powerpoint of say images so maybe you took you wanted to bake um a cake that somehow related to uh, the time period in Ireland when James Joyce wrote Araby or something, you know, so you'd show the steps of actually going through and baking that or the video. So it's showing that effort, right? Uh, but then if you're doing something static, like uh, a piece of art, right, something that um, you're painting or drawing, you need to show the steps of that. What are, you know, take pictures and put that in a PowerPoint, go along the way, um, showing the development of those ideas. Okay, what's your timeline? Um, so really think about, you know, when are you going to do all of these things? Be specific and realistic. This is just a way to really think about time management um, because oftentimes this is a project that takes longer to do than we initially imagine. Um, but also people by and large get good grades on this because it's fun, it's something different. Uh, but I would say that where people fall short perhaps with their grades at times, it's going to be in uh, rushing through the very end, particularly that three paragraph essay, um, or having a project that just clearly does not show effort, right? It's just, you know, a drawing of stick figures on a piece of scratch paper, that kind of thing. So we're trying to really um, avoid that, that possibility. And then the last thing is that you're going to make a complete draft of the second paragraph of the three. And this is where you're putting in that research, you're putting in, you know, those in-text citations to support, you know, if you drew an image, what from the story specifically led to this image? If you're, you know, like I said, baking cupcakes related to Joyce, what from the story has led you to this or from the historical context, that kind of thing. Um, so this is a full paragraph draft. Uh, 
the the times when people lose credit on this in the project plan is when they just submit you know like a list of quotes that's not helpful or just a brief idea instead of actually going through and having a complete paragraph so i understand that this is a draft we're still working on it but it still needs to essentially be um, the shell of what you will submit finally in your project okay and remember uh, when you go you're going to download microsoft word pdf and then I'm just going to take us back to our module so that you can see that the final thing to complete is going to be the participation quiz. And that generally is just going to cover everything from this week. Uh, so make sure that you, you know, complete that last. Make sure that you've taken in everything from this week's uh, lessons and ideas so that you can then do as well as possible on the week 12 quiz. If you have any questions, definitely reach out via Remind or in the Q&A discussion board, or you can email me directly. Um, this is a really fun way for us to end the semester because instead of writing that, you know, final research paper or taking a final exam or something like that, we're, we're you know, kind of getting into our creative sides and, and really developing our ideas in that way. But of course, we're still using the research and the paragraphs. We're still doing that um, and critical thinking. So hopefully this, um, you know, is exciting. It's, it's a fun way to end. Um, and that also means that the end is in sight, right? So take care, have a great week, and let me know what you need.